What's up TBD gang, this is Arunav and today I'm gonna bring to you my first ever infield breakdown. Most importantly, I'll be teaching you about escalation. So the first two minutes of the infield breakdown is in a previous day when I met this girl for the first time. In this infield, we're gonna dive deep into how to escalate on the dance floor and how to make pre-selection work for you. Also remember, if you have any questions, just key them in the comment section below and I'll make sure I reply to them. So without wasting much time, let's get right into it. So I approached the girl and as you can see, it was a non-verbal opener. I literally had laser eye contact and I held her hand and she complied back by hugging me. She starts smacking me at this point, which kills the audio. However, it's a big indicator of interest. So now I know with this particular set, the compliance level is pretty good. Now, after the approach, always check for compliance, whether the girl is completely compliant or if she's a bit hesitant. So I start at a strong and I'm just doing some basic push and pull. Now at this point, we enter a playful battle and she puts her hand on my shoulder. Also, she threatens me to leave. Now at this point, a lot of guys try to over invest and start to chase the girl. However, I just wait there and I give her my hand so that she can come to me. Now guys, you need to understand one thing. Chasing the girl is not good game. Good game is to become an attractive man and meet her midway. Also, always treat game like an art form. So over here, I'm just pushing it to the bitter end as this is the first set of the night. And I truly don't care what happens because in the initial sets of the night, I just going to get rejected and I say obnoxious shit so that I can get out of my head. I also made a video on approach anxiety. And if you have issues related to approach anxiety, do check it out. Now at this point, she leaves me when I push too much. It doesn't really matter for me because I'm already in a better state than I was before. Now, I always touch the edge with the initial few sets and the reason is because I'm doing it to get in a better state rather than doing it for the woman. Now that's a big realization that can change your game completely. Never do it for the girl but do it for yourself. Now, I turn around, I approach another girl right in front of her and it's just a basic conversation that we are having. I saw you and had to talk to you. What's your name? So I number close this girl in an instant and the other girl views this. Now a lot of people might think that gaming in front of other girls or gaming in front of the girls you've already approached is not cool and it's unacceptable. However, I feel it gets the pre-selection to kick in. And you will see the advantage when I meet the first girl again randomly in another club. Also, a big lesson from this set is hand out your phone when you're taking a girl's number. The reason for that is you don't want to give her mind the time to come up with excuses when she's giving you the number. Oh, Lord. No, I'm in the front. 
This is the second day. I walk up to the girl randomly and she remembers me. And the reason for that is because I'm the cool guy who got away. And I'm the guy who didn't fall into her frame. Now, before even inducing physicality, I just go up to her and I tell her, fuck you. Now, one thing you want to understand about emotional spikes is whether it's a positive or a negative spike, it's much better than a basic conversation. She knows I don't fucking hate her. It's all for fun. Now, I see the indicator of interest and I go in for the elongated hug. Holding her, I'm just saying, fuck you. So as you can hear, the context of the conversation does not really matter. Now what matters is, is the vibe you say it with. Now I say it with a fun vibe, like fuck you. But however, I didn't say it in a butthurt vibe, like fuck you, he didn't talk to me last night. So I do the intro again because I don't really remember her name because we just met for two minutes previously. Now there was a point where I held her hand and I got her towards me. Now guys, always remember, if you're trying to go towards the girl, she's gonna feel like you're invading her personal space. However, if you pull her towards you, she's not gonna feel like that and it's gonna be much better because she's more likely to comply. So the reason I'm giving her so many emotional spikes in this video is because I wanted to feel a lot of different emotions when she's with me. This makes her more comfortable and attracted towards me. Because if you think about it from the girl's perspective, I'm actually different than the other guys because I've given her a lot of different emotions to play with. Now, once the comfort level goes up, it's possible to do hard escalation. Now, I ask her age and I tell her, you can call me daddy. Now, that's another fun emotional spike. Everything. From your eye contact to the way you're speaking to the proximity is important for sexual escalation. Now this is more of an illogical conversation because it's a club and the girl is not there to talk about some guy just shitting about their lives for about 10 minutes. So always remember guys, just add positive emotions and playfulness to the conversation. Now at this point, she asks me, where do you stay? Now if you think about it, this is the point where she's asking me for my logistics. So I use my routine over here. Are you gonna kidnap me tonight? It is a subtle way of telling the girl, hey, you are the one who's doing all the work. Plus, it makes a qualifier and also helps me to figure out her logistics. She tells me that she has work tomorrow. So I know I can either do a number close or maybe a kiss close, but that's about it. So there's no point of wasting more time in this set, you know, I'm already formulating a plan what to do. Now you would have also noticed at this point I met a random guy and I told him, hey man, what's up? I shook his hand. Now I do this because I don't want her to think that I'm some kind of a creep in the club. Now guys, remember, she asked me whether I'm alone or I'm with someone. Now I was with Vicky at that time. However, I didn't want to talk to Vicky because Vicky was handling the equipment. So in that moment, the best thing was to just approach a random guy, shake his hands so that the girl thinks that I'm not alone. Also remember this guys, this is a good conversation starter. Now if you're going to a club alone and you're worried that the girl might think that you're a creep, all you gotta do is just open any guy with a fun vibe. Just say, hey man, what's up in a good energy and most of the people will revert back to you. This will not only help you to create a lot of social proof, but it will also help you to create a lot of new connections. Yo, 
Where's my name? Where's my name? Now as soon as we kiss a little bit, I back off and I tell her I'm shy, I'm gay. Now a lot of you might find it completely unnecessary. However, think of pickup as an art. Think of what you would like more. Would you like a girl just laying down naked and telling you to fuck her? Maybe. Or would you like a girl just teasing you, sitting on your dick, riding it a little bit and just teasing you, biting your ears and just then telling you to fuck her. Now the reason I'm pulling back from her is because I want her to chase more. Now, the funny thing is, I'm saying all that bullshit to the girl and it's amping her state up. She's having the best time of her life and with a guy who she's met five minutes ago. Another rule of the game is to leave her better than you found her. That's why it's so important for her to have fun. Now, as you can hear, my sense of humor is pretty weird. And if you think about it, the funny thing is, as you're thinking of the best openers, the best time and the right moment, I'm just making out with this girl and I'm just telling her, you just kiss me like my mom. And even that thing is working. So you don't have to overthink on what works and what does not. Just take action, man. Now, her friend also comes and joins us. And she's having way too much fun to even care about him. So she completely dismisses him. Now, this is another good way of just completely shutting off a cock block. Now, in this particular set, it has been about 5 to 8 minutes. And I want to do some more approaches. So I tell her, hey, I'll join you back in a while. I number close her and I go back to my rampage. Now, a lot of you might wanted me to push even harder or, you know, just go in for the pull. But let me tell you, it's a scarce mindset and I'll tell you why. Firstly, I'm here to do pickup for myself and not for the woman. So I'm here to improve my communication skills and have a great time while doing it. Secondly, if you think about it, I can literally re-engage the girl at any point of the night. So there's no point of me wasting my time over there because as I already told you, the girl is not there to sit and talk with you for the whole night if she's out in a club. Now this was another set that I opened. I did a complete non-verbal opener, however I just said yo to grab her attention and once I grab her attention, I just gave her my hand and she complies. Now this was a girl who was standing in a group of 4-5 to five men so it was kind of hard for me to just bring her over here. Now at this point, if I go inside and I start talking to the girl, it would have been much harder for me to use a verbal opener and to grab her attention because she was in the middle of 5 people. Now it was much easier for me to just give my hand out, take her hand and pull her towards me. Now guys, one thing you have to understand is, in a club or in a high energy or a high music environment, it's much better to use a non-verbal opener than to use a verbal opener. So now a quick note about physicality. Always be full-hearted when you're trying to be physical with a girl. If you have a little bit of a hesitation, the girl will be able to view it and she will reject you. Now, if you're not sure about doing your physicality, don't do it. But if you're doing it, give it your 100% and be certain about it. Know that it would work. Otherwise, you're just gonna come across as a creepy motherfucker. So that is all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the video and want to see more of my infields, click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more pickup and dating related videos. On that note, this is Aruna from The Bro Thing, signing off. Until next time.